Well, hello and welcome again. So today I'm going to talk about a very special tarot book. It is called The Magical Tarot of the Golden Dawn. Actually, I have reviewed this book a couple of years ago, but it is so good. I wanted to make a very short, summarized video with all the best points of why you should actually pick up a copy because that's how strongly I feel about it now <clears throat> after having read it and used it for several years there is actually a new edition as well uh, which I will allude to a little bit later on but anyway so I hope you are doing well it is uh, July the 15th here in Japan it is uh, 10.08 p.m. to be precise anyway let's get into this book now, The Magical Tower of the Golden Dawn is allegedly written by Pat and Chris Seleski. And it is an amazing book. It is very unique in that it is of the magical deck, the Tarot of the Golden Dawn. Now, you will find in this wonderful volume many new innovations with many instructions that were not originally found in the Golden Dawn Order's manuscript teachings. However, these new innovations were used in Pat's Thoth Hermes Temple, uh, which I believe was in, in New Zealand. Maybe it was Wellington, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong in that. But anyway, he did a lot of research and he incorporated these new innovations in the Thoth Hermes Temple. In my opinion, these new instructions and directions are incredibly useful. These are very useful additions. And it contains key switches to making your magic come to life. Now, the Golden Dawn Tarot was actually created in the late 1880s. And after its inception, from what we know, it wasn't really, or I should say, there wasn't really much added in terms of knowledge uh, being recorded and developed and then incorporated back into taking it any further. Not until the Farera Temple, the, the Smaragdum Thalassus Temple in New Zealand, where many members took their own notes and experimented and researched and then collated these extra teachings into a new evolutionary approach, which became a staple of the New Zealand Farera Temple. They took it to the next level. The Farera Temple was the longest surviving Golden Dawn Temple in that it ran continuously for about 60 years, from 1912 to 1978. Now, Pat has taken it several steps further in the decades he has practiced the Golden Dawn system, as well as the other systems of tarot uh, that he studied. And he has come up with and incorporated these additional teachings in this book. Therefore, uh, this is a very valuable source book because he presents in this amazingly thick volume both the traditional material and the additional New Age awareness uh, utilized in, uh, well, when he was running the Thoth Hermes Temple. And some of that unique material utilized at the Farada Temple as well as incorporated here. So you get the traditional as well as the, the new parts which make this an extremely unique next step or step up type of manual. It is a tarot book like, unlike I should say, anything you've uh, ever read before. Now I mentioned, uh, I mentioned that this book was actually written by Pat and Chris. Actually, that's the, the you know, it's on the cover, but it's not exactly true. Uh, even though this book is attributed both to Pat and Chris, the truth is that Chris had very little to do with the writing and the material that is included in this book. Over 98% of the research and contents in this volume comes directly from Pat. And so the correct attribution should be that it's actually written by Pat Seleski. He's being rather kind in mentioning his... Uh, his ex, even in the new version, but uh, it's actually his work and the credit really needs to go to Pat. Now, I did mention this just to highlight the fact that even though Chris has been given 50% of the credit, 
Her name appears simply out of the kindness of Pat, like I mentioned. In my opinion, uh, Pat should have just stamped uh, the authorship of this book with his name on it, not bothering putting Chris Chris's name because there's really nothing of Chris in this book. Now, Pat, once again, has to be given credit in presenting uh, where it was needed, a new corpus of material that relates particularly to the Golden Dawn carts, because in doing so, he has opened up the door and the avenue for us to build it up even further with our own study and research. So this is something, an opportunity for you if you're really into the tarot, into the mystical, magical ways. And, uh, you know, this is one reason or another reason, I should say, we, why you really need to get this book. So in the hundred years since the original system was conceptualized, the research into color, mythology, gems, plants, astrology, as well as angelic hierarchies has vastly progressed. And these additions have been incorporated here. And it's a big book. It's over 640 pages. Uh, I have the first edition. There is a second edition now which uh, is on the market, which you really should get before it sells out. Now, also a study of these Kabbalistic associations of the cards brings in a wealth of additional knowledge which is not generally associated with the tarot not to this extent however what it does do is that it gives you the reader a chance to delve even deeper into the mysteries of the tarot and gain a broader more esoteric overall picture than was possible before what you will have in your hands once you buy the book is all these associations placed together making this book a formidable tool in the Kabbalah and the mystical magical associations that give life to the Golden Dawn rituals, whereby knowledge that was once only available to Golden Dawn and uh, the uh, Inner Order initiates, uh, these adepts, are now at your fingertips. Included also is the Farera material for coloring the card trumps with the four color scales. Included in this amazing book is the full use of ritual with meditation and the tarot incorporated in it with instructions. Now Pat also has blended in, like I mentioned, other subsystems of the order so that an entirely new level of approach can be achieved when studying the cards, especially with the use of angelology uh, and the angelic associations. The other great thing about this book is that it includes all the individual 78 cards in line drawings. These are line drawings and they are full page layouts that you can copy out and then color them in yourself. They are very crisp. Uh, they come out beautifully well when you photocopy them. There's nothing murky or fuzzy about them. And this is probably the only source where you can get publicly the full working set of accurately depicted Golden Dawn tarot cards. So this is a gem in unto itself, I have to say. I have the first edition, which is over 640, more like 650 pages. Uh, the images of the tarot cards were actually drawn by the late Richard Dudskis, if I pronounce the name correctly under Pat's direction. There is a second edition which I mentioned out, so if you are at all interested in the Golden Dawn system of tarot, or you are a tarot enthusiast that is interested in taking your spiritual development and magical skills to the next level, it is a no-brainer. You have to get yourself a copy now uh, while it's still available. So have a look. On Amazon you can get it. Now let's have a look at some praise and, and uh, reviews of this book. All right, so on Amazon, Dr. Crow says, uh, this is a treasury in my tarot library. It's a verified purchase. And he says, I've been studying the tarot for over 20 years. And while I'm not in the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, I'm a member of the AA and OTO. I will say this is probably the best tarot book I've ever bought. If you are serious, and if you are a serious student of the tarot, then this is an essential piece to add to your library. If you are a student or aspirant in any of the Western ceremonial magical traditions, then I'm going to flat out say it's a must-have. 
It has the modern names of color scales. It has pictures of all the cards, great spreads you can use for yourself and your clients and new information I feel like I discover every time I open the book. Did you know the chariot card is related to the Merkaba and astral travel? I didn't either, but it makes sense once I read it. This is nearly 500 pages of 100% useful info and stuff you can amaze your clients with. Well, I think the new edition is just under 500 pages, so I think that's what he's alluding to, the new edition, because the old one was uh, in smaller format, so there are a few more pages. The new one is in larger format, so there are slightly less pages, but all the info is there. It's updated. It's brilliant. Okay, I don't know Pat or Chris, but I respect the amount of work they put into this, so I will get behind this book and say, get it. It's one more, sorry, it's more than worth the price and you can thank me later. That's what he says. Another reviewer on Amazon, Dominus Luminous is his uh, nom de plume. Once again, five stars out of five, a verified purchase says Pat Zaliski's Magical Tarot Book is the ultimate guide to the Golden Dawn Tarot. It contains numerous associations to the cards, a detailed description of each card in multiple levels, and various rituals involving the tarot. It's an essential work for the Golden Dawn practitioner. All right, so that's another amazing short, concise review. The next review is by A. Balfour, five stars out of five. Last word in the Golden Dawn Tarot. And he says, running to over 600 pages, the first thing you notice is just how, book the, uh, how big the book is. I advise having a surface handy when you read it, as it's not one for a commute. It starts with a general introduction to the Golden Dawn Theory of Tarot. Though interesting, this can mostly be found elsewhere. What was unique was the Seleski's introductions and instructions on coloring the deck. Finally, they make sense of the Golden Dawn color scales and how they can be applied to a card in coherent fashion. The meat of the book is in the individual card descriptions. These are accompanied by an original image in black and white. I found the artwork to be very pleasing and thankfully devoid of the rather cartoony style of some recent decks. I have copied some of the card images and colored them to the Zaleski's instructions with great effect. The card descriptions not only give coherent divinatory meanings, but more importantly relate each card to its place in the vast Golden Dawn system, including alchemically, cabalistically, the I Ching, and many more. Essentially, this book argues that the tarot was the glue holding together the diverse strands in the Golden Dawn magical system. If you are interested in tarot, I would recommend this book. If you are also interested in the Golden Dawn, I would say it is essential reading. Okay, so there we have it. All right, I'm going to close off there. Um, check out the book. I have it. I endorse it. I think this is probably the best addition to my library on tarot, and it is essential if you're practicing magic, in my opinion, even if you're not practicing Golden Dawn. It's got a lot of key concepts, a lot of clues, and really helps you go to the next level with your own study. So go out and get a copy. Okay, so have a good one. Keep safe, keep smiling, keep positive, keep going. Till next time, cheers.